Coach, uh, just kind of your impression so far in the fall camp on the defensive tackle unit? Uh, impression so far, you know, they've come out to work every day. But as, as we always say, there's still a lot to improve on. You know, it just come from, it comes down to uh, eyes and keys and just technical standpoint. What's kind of your ideal rotation for the amount of guys that, that really kind of get significant playing time any given game? Uh, how it works when you make plays, you write them, right? It's the guy that's producing. Guys that aren't producing are the ones that uh, you want to, you, you're going to rotate it. But I told them, if, if you're making plays, we're going to ride you. And so that's what it comes down to rotation-wise. Do you kind of have two set starters you're ready to roll with uh, for that opener? No, it's still wide open. We're still competing inside. One guy I want to ask about Rashad McKenzie uh, coming in and looks like he's made a pretty good impact, you know, getting uh, getting his size up, getting kind of that defensive tackle size. Just what have you seen in his development? You know, he, like you said, he's, he's got good size and he has really good feet. You know, for him, it's going to be coming down, still learning the playbook, you know, knowing what he needs to do and he can do it fast instead of thinking. And that's what's going to improve his game. And when you keep it in base calls, when he's able to just play leverage, uh, that's where you see him play fast. When he, when he has to think a little bit on some pressures, that's where he slows down a little bit. So for him, still still learning the playbook. It seems there's kind of a, each guy has a bit of a, your own, their own unique skill set. You know, Nusi's kind of his pass rushing seems to be kind of a, maybe the top in the group in that regard. How do the guys, do you feel like, kind of complement each other with each of them doing uh, maybe one thing extremely well? Well, you know, that's one thing we always talk about. You know, everyone's been blessed with a different skill. And, that, that, and everyone needs to know that skill set. You know, and it's, it's no different than, than where I've been, other places I've been. You have one guy that's going to play that tilt nose really well, and you know he's going to hold bombs. You have one guy that's knows he's going to play the G better. So everyone in that room knows what their talents are, and we're going to tell them we're going to, and they know what it is, and I'm not going to shy away from it. How much would you say there's maybe an emphasis on improving the pass rush from the interior um, from last year? You know, I, just, I think that's number one to affect the passer. You know, that's one thing you got to do. You got to get the quarterback off his spot as fast as you can. Don't let him sit in the, in the A gaps and let, it, let him hit it. But for us, it's just it's reading the sets that we're getting and pushing the pocket as fast as we can on the inside on first and second down and then earning the right to really pass rush on third down. Seems like we've seen a pretty steady rush from those guys inside. Just, you know, kind of how pleased have you been with their production during these team drills kind of throughout camp? You know, what I've been pleased with is that they're, they're, they're able now, they're starting to understand different, different, different schemes when it comes down to protection. They're starting to understand where the back's at. They're starting to read if it's across country. They're starting to read the man side and the way that they're talking on the inside now. For them, they're able to let their skills go because they're understanding what the offense is trying to do, and that's that's where you can attack it. Kind of a wide-ranging question here, but with those those top four guys, you know, Nusi and Mejia and, and Pule and and uh, uh, Amira, could you just kind of, you know, define what what sort of sets each of those guys apart? Or what have you kind of liked from? Oh, the, you know what I like. You know, I look from from Mejia from what he's done. He's just he's so he's so he's strong. I mean, that's a big body. It's just strong. And he's got long levers. When I look at uh, Mujahid, when I look at Mujahid, Mujahid is a guy that I know that can come in, and he's playing, been playing with great pad level. He's been consistent. He's been the leader. He's been energetic. And uh, you know, I sort of call him, I call him the plumber. You know, he's going to plug the gaps. He's going to do it every day, and I know I can trust him right now. But yet he's still shedding, making plays. Uh, Pule's got it all. You know, Pule, Pule has the first step. He has the hands. He's got the explosion. He's got the power. Um, for him, it's just staying disciplined with his eyes. And then when you go to David Gusta right now, who is who is the backup along with Nusi, and they're both competing for that spot. You know, Gus has got power and and he just and straw raw power. You know, for him, it's still learning it. And then as you guys said with Nusi, you know, nusi has got he's got that get off. He's got that twitch. Um, so like you guys talked about with Nusi, you know, each guy has something special. And then how are you gonna how are you gonna highlight that when you get out there? What drew you to Pullman, and, and what did you like? Uh, what have you liked so far about just kind of the town and the, and the program, and, and how the staff is? Has oh, you been? know what I what I love about you know it reminds me a lot. It reminds me a lot of Laramie. It's a small community, um, and it's a college town, and I just everyone knows each other, and I know you're safe here. Um, I, I would say this, you know, I did I did the ride along with the Pullman, I did the Pullman PD when I first got here, and I did the campus police. This is one of the safest campuses in the nation. I mean, there's not a cop within a two-block radius every five minutes on a Friday, Saturday night. Um, so when it comes to that aspect, uh, just the safety of it, uh, when it comes to the staff, uh, knowing Coach Dicker previously, uh, what I really appreciate about Coach Dicker, he's allowed me to be myself. But I also know who he is as a man. I know the culture he wants to build. And it's about love. It's about loving these young men more so than coaching. Coaching's easy. And uh, the part of it is we can pour into these young men everything that we have. And that's, that's what I love about this staff.